Hi, my name is Nathan Parker. Uh, some of this footage is going to be a little bit viewer sensitive for younger kids, and uh, so viewer discretion is advised. Um, now that we got that done, my name is Nathan Parker, again, as I said, and uh, I'm from Bull Wars, and we do 100% bow hunting. We do uh, daily updates on our Instagram and also our uh, Facebook too as well. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you a pretty quick do-it-yourself way to convert this to this. Um, this is my daughter's actually first year, and uh, but unfortunately I wasn't going to get a doe mounted. Um, it, she has a buck tag, and we're looking at getting a buck uh, for her. This is a doe that actually I took out last week. Uh, she was a really big doe. So what we're going to be doing is converting this to this. This is going to be a really do-it-yourself way. It's not that hard to do. Actually, probably the entire process uh, just to make it into a Euro mount grade is about an hour and a half. Um, and that's including the soak time too as well uh, inside the bleach solution. So we're going to be converting this to this. So stay tuned. We're going to show you step by step how to do it really simple, really fast. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the first step. All we're going to do is we're going to take the deer head. Uh, we're going to get a few of our skinny knives that we have here. Uh, these usually do the best. And what we're going to do is all we're going to do is take the skin off of it. So we're going to cut the ears. We're just going to fold all this skin back and just bring it down to the bone and the cartilage that's holding the skin on. So we're going to take out everything. We're going to take out the eyes and also the tongue and jaw area. This is more a little bit gruesome, uh, you know, for some viewers. So, but it's really easy, quick to do. Usually only takes about 10 minutes to do this. So. All right, so there it is. Really easy. We're, yeah, we're 10 minutes into it, so we're not even doing, uh, so it just took us 10 minutes. We separated the jaw from the top. We're just gonna be utilizing the top this time because there's gonna be a plaque that she's gonna have, but that's all we're gonna do. So we're just gonna keep all the meat and everything like that. If you want to, you can take some of this, but there's a, there's a bunch of bone in here, so. All we're going to do now is do a real simple thing. We're just going to take a pot of boiling water and we're going to submerge this into the boiling water for about 10-15 minutes. What this does is if you pressure wash this with a pressure washer right now, it's very gelatinous um, and the uh, water does not dissolve the meat off as well as it could. So what we're going to do is by, by putting this on, it actually hardens the meat up and we'll be able to pressure wash this cleaner and easier. So, as I said, we're 10 minutes into the process already and we have pretty much this so far. All right, well, here we are. Just got the water boiling. All we're gonna do, take the deer head, put it in the boiling water there. Keep it in for about 15 minutes. You could probably even do 20 minutes. Maybe uh, it's a little bit harder, but um, you know, that's pretty much what we're going to do is solidifies everything. Once we take the pressure washer to it, it peels right off. It's really nice. So I'm just going to let that boil for a little bit. And then we'll go into the pressure washer. All right, well, here we are. So we let this boil for 15 minutes. And as you can see, all the gelatinous uh, stuff has solidified. What we're going to do now, just put that right there and just let it cool down just a, a little bit. We're gonna jump on the pressure washer here. It's just a regular pressure, uh, motorized pressure washer, 2200 PSI, um, and the wand has a uh, fan blade on it. What I probably like to do is always wear rubber boots because there's actually chunks taken out of my rubber boot the last time I uh, utilized this method, but I utilized my boot for stepping down on it and stuff. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to bring out the pressure washer we're going to get on blasting this and what you try to do is you try to uh to bring the to bring the water uh and peel 
and do it in the peel method. Now, the thing is with this is boiling the skull for 15 minutes does not weaken the, uh, the skull bone itself. So you can pretty much go full blast on a 2200 PSI uh, pressure washer and start getting there, uh, taking some of this meat off. So we're gonna jump on it, see how it happens. Well, here it is. So, 10 minutes worth of pressure washing. Like I said, there's just a little bit of cartilage, not too much, but pretty much, yeah, it did a great job. Cleaned it, and this is pretty much the basics uh, when you actually do a European mount. So, what we're gonna do here is just, uh, we're gonna soak this in about two gallons of water and about two cups of bleach. And we're just gonna set that and let that soak in there for a few minutes probably I would say about 30 minutes or something like that and it's gonna really brighten up the skull real quick here and then what we're gonna do is that uh, let it dry out and technically that's your European mount right there uh, as I said we've only dedicated to this point probably about 35 40 minutes uh, to this but we've got a European mount right there so what we're gonna do is just clean this up just a little bit more I think and uh, we should be good all right, so here we go. Pretty much all we're gonna do is put a little bit of bleach in there. Mix it with the water. And we're just gonna let that soak in there. We're gonna let it soak for about an hour, maybe two hours, and just let that uh, neutralize all the bacteria in that skull. All right, so here it is, day after. Now, like as I said before, just invested 10 minutes taking the uh, skin off the deer head. Uh, then just boiled it 15 minutes, took it to a pressure washer for 10 minutes, and that's what we came out with so far. Oh, I did add uh, two gallons of water, one cup of bleach, and let it soak for about an hour, hour and a half, and that's how white it got just naturally. Now what we're gonna do is you could either keep it like that and do a European mount, or what we're going to do, this is my daughter's, and she wants to do the uh, spray paint hydro dipping. So we're going to take this, we're going to put a coat of primer on top of it, and then we're going to put our base coat on. So now, if you're just in it for just getting the European mount, right there you go. Uh, looks absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want to do the hydro dipping and learn how we do the hydro dipping like here, uh, this next part is going to be how that's done. Uh, one of the things is on a kid's smaller deer, if they do a small deer, year and a half old doe, uh, the nose pieces on these smaller does are a little bit thinner. So when you're hitting out the pressure washer, just be careful of that area right there. Uh, on this big doe, I didn't have to worry about that at all, but that was the only one little glitch that we had. Uh, the thinness of the one nose bone cracked a little bit but that was just because of the age of the deer. But that's what we came out with so far. Now we're gonna get down to spray paint hydro dipping. All right, so here we are. We're gonna start our spray paint hydro dipping. First of all, we have our spray paint have our base coat uh, skull that my daughter wanted pink as the base coat. And then we also have a stick here. I actually put a little bit of petroleum jelly on the stick just so when we're swirling the uh, paint around that hopefully it won't, uh, the paint itself won't stick on there because once it adheres to this, if you're dragging it too much, the paint will clump up. 
So if you put maybe a little bit of petroleum jelly on it, maybe uh, hopefully today it's not gonna do it. And we just have our tub of water here. You just gotta make sure it's deep enough to fully submerge the deer head. And then also have a piece of paper once the deer head is fully submerged to wipe off the excess paint off the top. So that's pretty much all we're gonna be utilizing today. All right, so here my daughter's gonna uh, spray it into the water. What you wanna do is try not to push it too far in there, just because once you get the layer of paint on top, um, if it puts it too close to the water, it will splash up and splashes will lay on top of the paint film. So you gotta have to create a nice balance of too, not too far, not too close. Okay, go ahead, Ella. A little closer, baby. Closer, closer. There you go, good, perfect. Okay, another color. Okay, there you go, perfect. A little bit of pink. A little closer, baby girl. Back to pull, like you said. Yep, there you go. Oh, that actually came kind of good. <laughs> it's like in the small one now. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> now just do black and purple just to, because uh, we got a base coat of pink. Oh, that's actually came really good. Good. All right. Using petroleum dip, we're just dragging some of the paint around. All right, there you go, and slow. Okay. Slow down. Slow. Keep going. There you go. Let me know when it's all the way under. Okay. It's it's all the way under. All right. He's up cold. Now we're just going to take this. Mm -hmm. All right. Lift it up, Ella. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, just let it drain. Am I just going to be sitting here? Look, I, I painted my clothes. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Pretty much we gave you the step-by-steps of kind of what we did. Um, give you an example of what it was is that is my daughter's skull. Pink, purple, black, and a little hint of glitter. But <clears throat> it's just a great way, you know, for the youth and everything like that to make the uh, make something out of the deer skull, even if it's like a, just a first doe or whatever. But just really cool looking. And... Uh, Gonna add that to the list. We're actually gonna make a plaque and put it on the wall for her with a picture of her first year. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> it's real easy, simple. Uh, the pressure washer is possible, at easily the easiest way to do um, these type of uh, things. I mean, I've done the beetling, and yes, you can you could beetle and pay that money and everything like that. You do one, two, it. Uh, two deer heads and technically you pay out for uh, what you could get a uh, cheap electric pressure washer to do it and then at least you have a pressure washer so it is a good way to do it and the easiest way so far that I've seen I mean you could bury them uh, in the ground and over time pull them up six to eight months later and then have a skull and everything like that um, you know it just with these mature deer with their bone structures and everything like that you could really get at these with a 22 2500 psi uh pressure washer and not have any problems this i was a little bit more concerned about because the nose pieces on these smaller does uh were a little bit more fragile but um <clears throat> that was pretty much it so i hope you enjoy this uh kind of how to do uh tutorial that we've created um now i remember when we dipped these heads we came down in a motion 
straight down and even like forward a little bit just to bring in and lay the uh, paint on top here. Same way with the buckhead. You're going to tie, uh, put some tape, electrical tape around the crown of the antlers and up the antlers because what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hold them by the antlers. You're going to bring it down and push down in without getting that, uh, the rack under the water or anywhere near that paint but yeah so hopefully you like it and this is uh nathan parker for bull wars 100 bow hunting you can follow us on twitter instagram and also on our facebook page too as well bow wars uh but hope you enjoyed it and uh we'll see you next time